Programming is a vital skill in today's digital age as it drives innovation and shapes the world we live in. Whether you want to create your own software, build a website, or simply automate repetitive tasks, learning how to program can be a game changer. So hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In this video session, we will understand about programming for beginners. We will cover topics like decide your goals for programming, categories of programming, how to start learning programming, learning the basics, taking challenges, and making a simple project. So these are the topics that we will be covering in this video session. Now before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. Which of the following programming languages is commonly used for developing web applications? A. Python B. C++ C. JavaScript or D. Ruby You can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. Alright, so now let's begin with our first topic that is decide your goals for programming. So programming is a broad term that encompasses a vast array of activities from creating software applications, web applications, to designing complex algorithms that can solve integrate problems. This field is constantly evolving and the possibilities of what can be achieved through programming are limitless. First of all, you have to decide what kind of programming you want to do. There are various kinds of fields in programming which you can explore, for example, web development, mobile development, embedded system programming, data science and analytics programming, etc. So when deciding on a goal for programming, it is important to consider your interests, strengths and future aspirations. Start by asking yourself what type of programming projects you what languages and frameworks you are most comfortable using. Additionally, think about what industries or fields you might want to work in in future and what programming skills are in high demand in those areas. Once you have a general idea of your interest and career goals, consider talking to professionals in the field and start taking online courses to gain more insight into the various options available. Alright, so now let's explore Categories of programming. So there are various categories in programming. So let's have a look at them. First is web development. So web development refers to creation and maintenance of websites, web applications and other digital solutions using various programming languages, tools and frameworks. It involves the entire process of building and deploying a website, including designing the user interface, writing the code and integrating databases and other backend systems. Web developers may specialize in front-end development which focuses on the user interface. Now this UI is the way we see and use a website. It includes buttons, menus, text boxes and other elements that allow users to input information or make selections. Some web developers may also have expertise in both front-end and back-end development making them uh, full-stack developers. Now if you want to become a web developer you should start by learning the basics of HTML, CSS and JavaScript which are the fundamental building blocks of web development. HTML is used to create the structure and content of a web page. CSS is used to style the page and make it visually appealing. And JavaScript is used to add interactivity and functionality to the page. After mastering these basic languages, you should start to explore more advanced concepts such as web frameworks like React, Angular or Vue.js, server-side languages like PHP, Python or Node.js and databases like MySQL or MongoDB. Now moving on to the second category of programming that is software development. So software development is the process of designing, creating, testing and maintaining software applications. It involves the use of programming languages, software development tools and methodologies to develop high quality and reliable efficient software systems that meet specific user requirements. To gain practical experience, aspiring software developers can work on personal projects, participate in open source projects or intern at software development companies. They can also enroll in coding boot camps, online courses or pursue a degree in computer science or a related field. To become a software developer, there are several key areas to study that you will need to focus on. Firstly, you will need to have a strong foundation in computer science fundamentals, which includes topics such as data structures, algorithms, 
computer architectures and operating systems. Secondly, you will need to learn programming languages such as Java, Python, C++ and JavaScript. These are the building blocks of software development and you will need to be proficient in at least one of these languages to write the code and develop software applications. In addition to programming languages, you will also need to have a solid understanding of software engineering methodologies such as Agile and Scrum. Another important area of study in database design and management as most software applications rely on a database to store and manage data. You will need to learn how to design efficient database schemas, write SQL queries and manage data using database management systems such as MySQL, Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. So if you want to pursue a software development career and if you are aiming to get certified in full stack development and want to build a full stack development career, in that case you can check Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack development which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. To find the details of Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack development, check the link in the description box below. It could be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. Now, the third category of programming in our list is AI and ML. An AI and ML engineer is a professional who designs, builds and maintains intelligent systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. Programming is an essential skill for both AI and ML engineers as they need to develop and implement algorithms, models and systems that can perform intelligent tasks. AI and ML engineers typically use programming languages such as Python, R, Java or C++ to write code for their projects. To become an AI and ML engineer you need to have a strong foundation in computer science along with mathematics and statistics. You should have a good understanding of programming languages such as Python, Java and C++. To excel in this field, you also need to have a good understanding of machine learning concepts such as supervised and unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning and deep learning. You should also have an experience of working with popular machine learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch. In summary, becoming an AI and ML engineer requires a combination of technical knowledge, analytical thinking and practical experience. Also, to learn about AI and ML, you can check AI and ML playlists that we have curated. So if you are interested in the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and machine learning, then you will definitely want to check out our AI and ML playlist. This curated collection of videos will take you through a journey of exciting possibilities of AI and the cutting edge technology behind it. All right. Now moving on to the next category which is game development. So gaming industry is a multi-billion dollar industry with a huge global audience. As a result, there is a growing demand of talented game developers who can create engaging and immersive gaming experiences. Game development is the process of creating video games including design, programming, art, audio and testing. It involves various stages from the concept stage where the game idea is conceived to the release stage where the final product is launched. Game development requires creativity, technical skills and an understanding of game mechanics and player psychology. To become a game developer, you will need to study a range of subjects including programming, computer graphics, game design and audio engineering. A strong background in mathematics and physics can be helpful as they are essential for creating realistic games, physics and dynamics. Additionally, you should have experience with game engines and programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, Java and Python. Understanding the different game development platforms such as Unity, Unreal Engine and Game Maker Studio is also important. Finally, you should have a strong passion for gaming and desire to create engaging and immersive experiences for players. With dedication and hard work, a career in game development can be both rewarding and fulfilling. So these were some of the categories of programming which you should keep in mind while preparing or entering into the programming world. Now let's understand how to start learning programming. So the first thing you will need is the right mindset. While doing programming or coding, you will get stuck multiple times and that's perfectly fine. In fact, 90% of your programming experience will involve just looking at the screen and trying to find and fix errors and bugs. The remaining 10% will be dedicated to actually typing and programming. It is essential 
to remember that getting stuck is a natural part of programming process and it's okay to feel frustrated. Developing a strong mindset is crucial to overcome these challenges and achieving success as a programmer. So before you begin your coding journey, make sure you are mentally prepared for the ups and downs that come with it. The next step would be learning the basics. You must start with one programming language first. Don't get started with multiple programming languages at the same time. This will make you confused and you will not be able to understand any of those languages deeply. So start with one programming language first. Start learning and understand its basics. There are many resources available for learning programming including online courses, books and video tutorials. Find a resource that works for you, your learning style and be committed to it. Programming is a hands-on activity. Once you have a basic understanding of programming language, start working on simple projects to practice your skills. As you will gain more experience, you can move on to more complex projects. Also, programming can be a challenging and it's okay to ask for help when you get stuck. There are many resources available including forums and online communities. The next is taking challenges. Taking on challenges is an essential part or aspect of programming for beginners as it allows them to develop their skills and grow their knowledge in a practical and engaging way. Challenges can come in many forms from small coding exercises to large and more complex projects. One of the benefits of taking on programming challenges is that it helps beginners to build confidence and self-assurance. By successfully completing coding challenges, beginners gain a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction, which can help motivate them to continue learning and improving. Next is making a project. Making a simple project is an essential part of journey of programming, especially for beginners. It offers a practical way to learn and apply key programming concepts and tools and helps to solidify understanding and build confidence. One of the main benefit of making a simple project is that it provides a tangible goal to work towards which can help to motivate learners and keep them engaged. By working towards a specific projects, learners are able to see the practical applications of the programming concepts they are learning, which can make the learning experience more meaningful and memorable. Another benefit of making a simple project is that it allows learners to experiment and make mistakes in a safe and controlled environment. By working on small simple projects, learners can test out different approaches and strategies without the risk of breaking more complex programs or applications. Beginners can also use version control systems like GitHub, Beanstalk, Mercurial, Git, etc. Git is a version control system that enables developers to manage their source code and collaborate with other developers effectively. It allows developers to track changes in their code, revert to the previous versions, merge changes made by different developers and work on different versions of the same code base simultaneously. Programming for beginners can be an exciting and rewarding journey that opens up new opportunities for creativity, problem solving and innovation. While the learning curve can be steep, taking the time to master the basics and build a practical experience through projects is the key to become a successful programmer. Starting with the fundamental concepts such as variables, data types and control flow statements, beginners can gradually progress to more advanced topics like algorithms, data structures and software architecture. By practicing these concepts through projects, learners can gain a deep understanding of how they work in practice and build confidence in their ability to create working programs. Alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.